Now, there are some spiritual practices that are meant to be done alone, like um, solitude. <laughs> I don't know how you practice solitude. I guess you can practice solitude, like be around other people, but then silence, I don't know. Um, but there are some practices that are meant to be practiced alone. They're meant to be cultivated independently. But testimony is not one of them. The very act of telling our stories pushes us towards community turns us towards one another. Telling our stories is meant to transform both us and the people who are listening. Verses 1 through 3, Psalm 40 again, I waited patiently for the Lord. He inclined to me, heard my cry. He put a new song in my mouth, a song of praise to God. Many will see and fear and put their trust in the Lord. As we tell our stories to one another, as we testify, we are pointing one another towards God, and we are pointing one another towards transformation. And that's one of the powerful things about testimony. We give it, when we practice testimony, we give it, but we also receive it. We receive testimony. When we practice testimony, we hold the testimonies of others. So in verse 6 of the psalm, the psalmist addresses God. They're talking about what they have learned about God through telling this story. Sacrifice and offering you do not desire, but you have given me an open ear. And the message translates this verse as, you've opened my ears so I can listen. The act of testifying becomes larger. We don't testify only to what we have seen and experienced but we become witnesses to what others have seen and what others have experienced. I think there is such a validation in our stories being held well. The first small group I was ever in in this community was back in 2015, and that small group still holds my story in a way that has been transformative. So back in 2015, a few months into being a small group, we decided together in the Watson's living room that we were going to take a retreat. So we went on this retreat, and the sole purpose of getting away together was to tell our stories to one another. And I'd say at the time, all of us, most of us, were in the I'm waiting for God, like part of the song. That's where most of us were sitting. And then we testified anyway. We practiced testimony anyway. And I remember there was a weight in the room that I had just never experienced before. Like I had not experienced what it was like to testify to friends who were committed to simply holding my story well, to bearing witness to my experiences. And it felt like an immense privilege for me to be able to do that for them too. Now, I have a ton of fun, mem fun memories from that trip. There was like a mouse in the house with us that like came out at unexpected times. Drew almost broke his ankle in a snowball fight. He still has a scar. We checked last night. There's still a scar on his ankle forever. <laughs> but when I look back to that weekend, I know that it was the testimonies that have brought me to where I am and why I carry that weekend with me the way that I do. Listening, receiving, holding the stories of those who share them is also practicing testimony. It's saying together as a community that what God has done once, God can do again. And we don't all believe that at the same time. And that's what's beautiful about community. When, we're don't, when we don't believe that, we hold it up for each other in testimony. Testimony. 